growing your own herb garden. Spring officially arrives on Sunday. How many of you are ready to pop open that grill and start cooking? I know I already have. <laughs> Melody McDaniel from Pike Nurseries is with us this morning to talk about growing your own herbs. What a great idea. It's actually one of my favorite things to grow and keep near the kitchen. Yes. So I have them in pots on my deck, which is right by my kitchen, and I just cook with them. So there's many different herbs. Some of them are perennial. Some of them are annuals. Okay. So we'll go through a few of those now. Some you'll need to plant every year and some you'll be able to uh -huh. use year after year. One of my favorite ones that you can use year round is rosemary. Oh. Rosemary is actually evergreen. So you can use it in the, in the middle of the winter, but you can also use it all summer. And it's so great for grilling, as you mentioned. Yes. There are some upright rosemaries, which one fun thing to do with them is use them as your barbecue skewers. And then you infuse that rosemary flavor. What a great idea. Yeah. I love the smell of that. I know, it's it so wonderful. So chives is another great one that's mm -hmm. easy to use. One thing you might not know about chives is the flowers are edible. They're pretty pink flowers that you can sprinkle on a salad for just an extra little bit of color. Okay. Then we've got sage, which oh, is great with beautiful. poultry. Um, this is lemongrass. Lemongrass has a, a strong lemon fragrance. Um, and it's great for the middle if you do mixed herb mm -hmm, pots. I like mm -hmm. to use it in the middle. We've got some more parsley. Oregano is another favorite. Ah, another it is, yes. And it is perennial, so you can have that year after year as well as uh, lavender, which is a really pretty plant. So nice, yeah. yes. And then this is another kind of sage called pineapple sage, which has a pineapple smell to it. Beautiful red flowers that attract hummingbirds in the oh summer gosh, as well. Yes. It's really pretty, a little less known. And then you cannot have an herb garden without basil. Right. And there are many different varieties. The sweet basil is the one that you probably have seen and used the most, but there are also purple varieties like this red Reuben. Great. And varieties that are smaller leaves. And like you said, probably the key is to plant it where you have easy access to it so you can grab it. You won't forget about it out in the garden down Absolutely. the road. And it's so much less expensive and it just feels great to be it able to grow great. your own food. So much flavor. Wonderful. Yes. And you've got a class on herbs this Saturday. Saturday at 9 a.m. at Wonderful. all our locations. Melody, thanks. Thanks, Gravier. All right, gardening with Gravier. I love it. Four pieces of history.